Assalamu alaikum, hello everyone. If you have opened this video, meaning you are interested in taking one of the uh, ICC inspectors exams, uh, whether you are interested in taking a building exam, building inspector exam, or which noted as uh, B, either B1 for residential or B2 for commercial, or you are interested in taking M1 for residential mechanical inspector or M2 for commercial uh, inspector or P1 or P2 for plumbing or E1 and E2 for electrical. Uh, whether you choose a version of 2015 or an older version as of uh, 2012 or a newer version like 2017 if you are interested in the international residential code uh, this video will be very helpful um, there are other useful videos that talks about building and electrical on YouTube but there isn't one that specifies specifically talk about mechanical so in this video I will talk only about mechanical but you can also use the same strategy in studying for other exams the book I have used was the 2015 International Residential Code It contains all the fields, building, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, but you can only take one exam at a time. So my advice, the strategy I used is I focus only on the one you are interested in taking. Most of the uh, job requirements, the only require you to have at least one. So uh, choose the the field that you are you feel more comfortable with if you are a contractor let's say you're doing plumbing it will be very advisable to uh, go for a plumbing uh, inspector exam or if you are a mechanical definitely you want to go for mechanical and then later on if you get hired and you want to go ahead and that if they ask you that they need more certifications, it will be easier since you already have done the first one. So the book that I'm using right now is 2015. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it will be very useful that the first thing you need to do is to log in to their website, iccsafe.org, and then from their website, you can download this file that will give you uh, a detailed explanation about what you should expect and how the exam will be. So this one is for certification residential mechanical inspector and this is for the version 2015 based on 2015 and you have the option of choosing either an older or a newer version. The exam is 60 multiple choice questions, two hours limit, and it's open book, meaning you are you will be uh, able to take the entire book with you. So you want to prepare how you uh, you want to make use of that. Uh, definitely, since I took the exam twice and I have built a very good experience with the exam. I am going to share my experience and hopefully uh, um, I, I hope that will be helpful for you as well. So uh, uh, as a breakdown, the, the, the grading will, will, uh, will have different percentage on different topics. So for example, here general in, uh, administration will have a 10% and you can pause and read the uh, details I'm not going to be able to read the entire uh, reading right now but I'm briefly I'm going to go only with the titles 
Heating, cooling, water heaters, well, they will have 21%. And then exhaust and ventilation systems will have 9%. Duct system will have 8%. Combustion air will have 19%. Chimney, chimneys and vents will have 18%. And then fuel supply system will have 15%. This last chapter or section is dedicated in, in, in the last uh, chapter. I'm gonna, uh, I will explain later where, where that chapter is at the, at the book. So going back to the book, this is the table of contents. The mechanical starts from chapter 12. It's called parts five mechanical and then the mechan mechanical administration is chapter 12 chapter this is chapter 13 general mechanical system requirements and all the the sections are listed and then you have chapter 14 for heating and cooling requirements and appliances heating and cooling equipment and appliances and then you have exhaust systems you have duct systems combustion air chimneys and vents all the way to chapter 14 fuel gases this is a very lengthy chapter but it also serves as a review of all the the other uh, chapters so you don't want to be intimidated with the size of the chapter. The size of the chapter has so many sections. These are chapter 24 sections. It kind of repeats all the other sections, but it only focuses on the fuel distribution, fuel testing, fuel, uh, anything that has to do with fuel. Uh, so... Uh, a lot of the information is just uh, a repeat, but it will be a very good practice. So, uh, my advice, very, very crucial, is you want to make uh, tabs for your book. Since you're going to be taking that, this book, you want to really uh, make it your friend. Uh, the exam is not difficult, it's super easy, but you only have two hours and 60 questions multiple choice questions so it's not about the difficulty it's about finding the right answer and you want to make sure it's the right answer and uh, it's better that you confirm your answer from the book because sometimes you may think that you are getting the right answer but you may be you're, 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 you're a little bit slightly off the right answer and then you lose a point so it's better that you find your answers from the book because it's 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 all about uh, numbers and measurements and uh, some of the calculations when it comes to uh, combustion air and 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 uh, and, and other uh, uh, cal uh, basic calculations so what i did is for each chapter i made a tab and i and, uh, and i titled the chapter so whenever uh, i see a question i know where i would find that uh, the answer and then you, sh you need to be f uh, familiar with the content of each chapter basically you want to be able you uh, you want to make sure that you have read the code and it will it's very helpful when you do some schematics uh, summarizing each code uh, making it very simple so that uh, w when you ask a specific question you don't waste your time uh, skimming through the, the pages and finding the answer, you will go uh, straight to the uh, to the answer. So making tabs for your uh, book for each chapter, as well as locating the making tabs for definitions and making tabs for table of contents, will be very helpful. And also, one of the books that I have used as well is uh, this is it will also uh, it's, I advise you to use it after you study the chapters. This will uh, help you to in, uh, understand the code, uh, the uh, the explain the code 
uh, they use different language than the code language. Uh, they make it a little bit, um, um, uh, they make it more, uh, they use more uh, words for the lay person to understand the code. So it's, 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 it's very helpful and it's dedicated for inspectors, plan examiners and contractors. Uh, uh, it's not necessary, but it will be very helpful. Uh, something very crucial, uh, you want to make sure you have one of the code checks. Uh, the code check, if you are in the industry, you, you're familiar with it. Maybe you use it as a contractor. Definitely use it as, a, as an inspector. Uh, it has um, um, uh, a brief uh, code listing, code check. So definitely all the, the write-up that you see on the, 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 the entire book, they have summarized it and listed in, 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 a, in, in short sentences, uh, making sure that the, it, it only focuses on the, the, uh, the proper uh, uh, listing the proper uh, uh, measurement, the proper requirements, the minimum requirements, and it also uh, is supported with the uh, illustrations for the uh, the systems. So uh, this will be very helpful, very helpful during the exam. You're not going to be able to bring one of these with you. You can only use the the first. Uh, the, the, uh, the book that I showed you, you can only use this book, which is whatever uh, version you would choose. Uh, this is the only material that you will be able to bring with you, but, but you are uh, allowed to make tabs for your uh, book. Uh, you, can, you can double check that on, on their website, iccsafe.org. You are uh, allowed to make uh, uh, tabs for your book uh, and then uh, it will be very helpful and also you can make some riot apps as well also uh, I bought this book for M1 residential mechanic inspector study guide it's gonna be very helpful uh, use it along with the book while you're writing the chapter you uh, want to make sure you read the chapter and then uh, you can study based on chapters so for e they have questions for each chapters it's gonna uh, work as a review for the chapter and it's gonna test your understanding for the code uh, and also it's gonna f uh, make you uh, be more f uh, familiar with the, the content of the book. Um, I, I wanted to uh, add more to this video in terms of uh, going into more details about uh, different uh, emphasis uh, about the, uh, the test, but that will be in, in a different video definitely and will be based on the demand. If, uh, if there is any demand, uh, uh, please comment. Uh, if you like the video, please comment. If, uh, if you want uh, uh, more information, I can uh, make another video uh, talking about uh, sample calculations or um, what you may uh, expect to see in the exam. Uh, the exam is not that difficult, but it may be uh, intimidating the first time. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa